Hey guys, it's Otto. So today I'll be singing Todo's Africa as badly as I possibly can, and I'll fix my vocals with pitch correction software such as Autotune and Melodyne. By the way, if you like funny music production videos, you can subscribe to the channel. Okay, here's my Pro Tools session. I've got the instrumental right here. Sounds like this. Yeah. Yeah, beautiful. Then we've got the vocal track, which I'll be singing into, as well as a master fader. And here we go. We're gonna sing the chorus. So I've got the lyrics right here. It's gonna take a lot to drag me away from you. You know the drill. We love this song. I'm not being sarcastic. This is a, this is a great song. I'm serious. Let's just jump right into it, okay? Record, boom. It's gonna take a lot to drag me away. Bless the rains down in Africa Gonna take some time to do the things we never had Oh <laughs> My goodness Just to make things a little different, let's make a new vocal track Boom I'll sing this again and use it to make harmonies and stuff like this Okay, here we go <laughs> My neighbors love me. All right, I sang this pretty badly, and I could have actually sang more out of time, so this won't be as much of a challenge. We could actually make this sound kind of good. I have a feeling we can actually make this sound good, but uh, we'll see what happens here. We begin. So firstly, some of the vocals are off time, so we're gonna move things around to make them be more in time before we start tuning the vocals. Actually, there's not so much to do, but let's look at this part, for instance. I'm kind of rushing, so we're gonna cut this clip up and move things around. And we'll just kind of zoom in and see what's going on. I'm kind of rushing, so I'm gonna cut this part up and move it to the right a little bit. And how I do that is by chopping parts up. And the way I do it is I'll find a part where I wanna chop, I'll press B on the keyboard and that cuts the clip. I can press B anywhere I want and we get cut parts. So we'll just cut around here, and uh, we can just freely move this clip around a bit, like so, and it should be a little bit better now. It's a little bit better, but I noticed that this part is also rushing, so we're gonna cut there, move this forward again, and see how that sounds. Yeah, let's zoom in a bit more, and as you can see, I can drag this open and uh, this as well. Let's listen to this part with this track on solo, so no music in the background, and listen to this. What's this? Did you hear that snap? How do you get rid of that? Well, you put a crossfade. Look at this. Boom. It's gone. The pop is gone. This is why crossfades are your friends. Let's listen to this a bit with the music. So we'll put solo off. See, much better. Those are the basics of editing. And I'll just be doing this for both audio clips and uh, sync this stuff up. All right, so now I'm editing the second track. One good thing to do is to go up here and click on this little arrow, and you can see that your waveforms will zoom in so you can see what's going on in the audio. To make sure that both of your vocals are in sync, you can just kind of compare the two. As you can see, this one is rushing compared to this one. So you could technically just do that. Now these two waveforms are matched with this particular consonant. Okay, here's another thing I can show you. So listen to both of these vocal tracks at once. Uh, as you might have noticed, the word away is shorter on the second track than it is on the first one. What if I want to sync this guy with this one? We can't stretch it open because there's no more of the word here. This is the second word. So what we can do is we can go up here, click with mouse button 2, go to TCE, which allows you to time stretch your vocals. I'll just go to the end of this word and drag it 
over here and let go. That's better. Look at that. Nice. Nice. All right, we're done with editing. Listen to this. It's so much better. It's gonna take a lot to drag me away from you. There's nothing that hundred men. Okay, now we're gonna move on to Melodyne, which allows us to correct the notes into their correct positions. So we're gonna start out with the first track. Gonna go to our inserts, boom, plug in, other, Melodyne. And we're also going to copy paste Melodyne into the other track by clicking option. And then we'll drag Melodyne to the other track. What you want to do with Melodyne is click on transfer because Melodyne needs to analyze the audio. So we're going to do that with both tracks. Boom. Now we're going to drag our playhead to the beginning of the vocals. Go back to Melodyne and press space. Boom. All right, it's analyzing the audio right now. And that's that. I just can't help but laugh at the, oh! Beautiful, we're done with that. We can see all the notes that Melodyne detected, and now we can freely move these notes around to their correct positions. So as you might remember from my other videos, these rows are notes. So we can drag this note to G sharp or A, or even that high C sharp over there. What I'll do right now is move all the notes to their correct positions on both tracks for the main melody, and then I'll play with the harmonies later. I'm moving these first notes to A. Yeah, <laughs> and that's it. I'll just be doing this for quite a bit, so be right back. Okay, all the notes are in place. So let's hear what we have. I have not listened to this yet. Wow. Yeah, I mean, some parts are a little bit weird, but not bad. Now we'll do the same thing, but we'll do a harmony track. Yeah, and that's the start. All right, peeps, we have done it. Listen to this. <laughs> yeah, it still kind of sounds like Mickey Mouse is getting a wet sock in his mouth, but it's okay. It's all right. We'll add other things to this to make it sound better. Okay, next I'm thinking of putting some auto-tune into some of the tracks. A great auto-tune software is M Auto Pitch, which is completely free. So without auto-tune, the pitch kind of changes just a little bit, as you can hear. It's gonna take a lot to drag me away. Yeah. So with auto-tune, boom, we're going to put all of these settings kind of high and hear what it does. It's going to take a lot to drag me away from you. Yeah, it's more tight. Then I'll just take the M-Auto pitch plug in and maybe put it on the second harmony. And now it's a little bit nicer. It's going to take a lot to drag me away from you. Yeah, then I'll put in an equalizer. I use something called the FabFilter Pro Q3. It's an amazing one, and we'll just listen to frequencies that we don't like, and we'll get rid of those. So let's listen. It's gonna take a lot to drag me away from you. Uh, lots of the bass stuff is usually unnecessary. It's gonna take a lot to drag me away. Much better. And then, of course, we're gonna add some reverb. So you could think of that as echo. Let's hear what we got. It's gonna take a lot to drag me away. Let's turn reverb off. It's gonna take a lot to drag me away from you. All right, that's that. Let's listen to this whole thing. It's gonna take a lot to drag me away from you. There's nothing that hundred men or more can ever do. I push the brains down in Africa. That wraps up the session. Hope you dug it. Hope you enjoyed the video, guys. If you wanna see more, you can subscribe to the channel. You can click on the bell thing to get notified when videos come out. And this is important. Videos are coming out every Saturday, 8 p.m. Finish time. 
See you next time.